Hello and good morning everyone. Once again, I am back with my class. Today we are going to talk about salient feature of Indian constitution. Okay, so first point. Indian constitution is the lendiest written constitution in the world. Guys, please remember, uh, if we have to talk about the constitution, then constitution is written or it is unwritten. For example, American constitution is written constitution and uh, Britain constitution is unwritten constitution. Okay, but India has a written constitution and among the world, India has the lendiest written constitution. First point and drawn from various sources. When constitution was framed at that time, we took ideas from other constitution as well, like uh, fundamental rights. The idea of fundamental rights was taken from American constitution. So like that, a lot of others, uh, you know, contents are also there in our Indian constitution, which are taken from other source. Okay. Third is blend of rigidity and flexibility. What does this mean? The rigidity and flexibility means there are some provision in our Indian constitution, which can be change easily that can be considered at flex in a flexible way okay but there are some provisions which can be alter or change or add in our constitution with a special majority so our constitution is rigid as well as flexible okay i hope you understood the uh, fourth point is federal system with unitary bias federal system means the power has been divided between union state and local bodies and unitary bias means like more power has been given to uh, central government or union government in some cases that way we will know when we will uh, take lecture in a very detailed way this is just a basic thing which i am giving you fifth point is parliamentary form of government as we all know that india has a parliamentary form of government where legislative, executive and judiciary work hand in hand. Okay, we have Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, in the state we have state legislative assembly, legislative council, okay, those things, parliamentary form of government. Other is integrated and independent judiciary. What does this mean? We have a Supreme Court as apex court for the country and for the state we have high court and those high court also have uh, uh, has also uh, provided with the independent power okay so those things are there okay this things and another is fundamental right as we all know that fundamental right individual right is there dpsp direct principle of state policy is there where direction is given to state while forming the policies okay then we have fundamental duties every indian citizen has to follow some duties the fundamental duties it was added later on in the indian constitution then secular state we you know there is no restriction for any kind of religion in our country okay we can practice and preach any kind of religion in our country that's the thing then the universal adult franchise that is voting rights above 18 years of age we will be eligible to vote, okay, to be a responsible citizen. Another is single citizenship. Though we have 28 states and uh, 8 union territories, but we have single citizenship, like Indian citizenship, that's all. State doesn't have citizenship and all, okay. There's only one citizenship, that is Indian citizenship, that's all. Only one or a single citizenship. Then other is emergency provisions when we talk about emergency provision we will talk in detail way when we'll go at the back side but this is what when country is in threat and that time country is in threat that time you know their emergency can be declared by the president of india uh, you know uh, uh, president of india that's the thing we will talk about emergency provision later on this is just a basic video so i'm just giving you the just I'm highlighting you the points, emergency provision, that's the thing. Then other is three tier of government. As I already said, we have central government, we have state government, and we have local bodies like panchayat, local government like panchayat and municipalities. Okay. So guys, these are the highlights of this salient feature of Indian constitution. I have given the points. When we will start the class in a detailed way, then we will discuss each point in more elaborative way.